This channel is supported by my online fishing courses and there are significant discounts and more information at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. Okay, my first Montauk video of 2020 and boy is it a calm day. Look at this, it's like a pond out here. Uh, yep, water temperature 55 degrees, still kind of cold, fishing not exactly on fire either. I am out with uh, Rick uh, next to me there and Jack up in the bow. And uh, hey, we're going to give it a shot. Uh, we've had some slow fluke fishing Peconic Bay. We're going to see if we can do better here. And this is June 2nd. We're starting in about 55 feet of water. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. I have, I have three on them. I have two on. I'm fine. You two? Two. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And that discussion is all about the weight of the bucktail, two ounces, three ounces. Oh, Rick's got a fluke. What do you got there, Jack? Pretty good. Okay. Okay. All right, he's got a sea bass and you got a fluke for sure. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, but he's he's small. Yeah. I'm waiting for that fluke to start taking drag off my reel. And so I had one about 23 inches with with John on on Sunday, and yes. it, it just felt good to set the hook and have the rod stop and feel the boop 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 like that maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's not big. I think it's a big one. You're catching them. That's a fluke, though. You're yeah. catching them there. Um, I think it would be worth when you get that guy up making a mark over here if you don't already have one, just okay. because, you know. What do you think? Bring him in. <clears throat> I think you got to measure him, but I don't think he's going to make it. How do you catch these? Well, I'll teach you something. Yeah, if you could show me some, <laughs> give me some instruction. Yeah, I'll give you some pointers if you want, but uh, you just have to, you know, concentrate. Okay, so that one's right at 19 inches, so first keeper. There That's a fluke, definitely. Uh, They're just coming up pretty easy. Yell if you need the net jack. Yeah, it's definitely a fluke though. I'm just letting you guys get these little guys out of the way for me. And I'm coming over. Just keep me in the water. No, I think he's good. I'll bring him in. Yeah, no, he's going to be good. He's definitely good. I mean, I would measure him, but I think he's good. Okay, we kind of lost the drift on the inside and uh, decided to move out, see if we could catch some more current. Uh, we went out to about 72 feet. We actually had a worse drift there. Then we came in a little bit to about 65 feet. I think you got a good one there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, no. All right, Rick. I don't want to tighten the drag up. No, you definitely got a good one there. Nice. So using the John Skinner bucktails takes off, Jack. Oh yeah. Yes. Well, he probably hit the teaser. <laughs> uh, yeah, That's this is to... definitely gonna be a an actual Montauk fish, yeah. It's 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 coming up real slow because the 
Very nice. Bring them over. That's it. No drama. Right in. Nice fish, Rick. Way oh, to go. Look at that. Nice. Very good. Nice fish. Way to go, Rick. Thank you. That's it. You noticed John used my netting technique too. Uh, hit it on the head. <laughs> Okay. All right. That's a nice one. Get a mark on this so we know. All right. Absolutely. All right. These guys are out fishing me, and they're catching all of them on that pink shine, which I like, but I, I just didn't have any on me. Finally, I grabbed one of Rick's and put it on. I put a four on. No, no, now the wind's died. I think three's plenty. Yeah, I tried to say three plenty. But I haven't caught any fish either, so I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't follow what I said. Oh, take that back. Yeah, this is a real one. All right. Yep, this is good. Way to go. You mark that. And I'll need a net when you get a chance. Just a regular net. So it's like the kind Rick catches. Oh, nice. Guy. Thank you, Rick. Very nice fish. And you got a mark on it, right? You already marked Probably. it. You already marked it. Okay. You know what? I, that's the first time I put that damn pink grub on there. I caved in, took one out oh, of the Oh, look at that, and you got the... Yeah, the, got I mean, there. it's uh, rare that you see a color make a difference, but it's hard to, it's hard to deny. That. See if he had been using it all day. Yeah, it's, my, it's like probably my favorite all around color, but that's why I don't have it, is because I just, Use I went through all. the ones that were in the bucket, you know, I got more at home. But, I'll tell you what, I wasn't catching shit till I put that on. <laughs> and I'm still using the same one. All right, we were plagued by a slow drift speed uh, throughout most of the trip, so uh, not covering ground over sparsely scattered fish is a bad combination. We ended up with four keepers, uh, a lot of shorts. Um, uh, hopefully it's going to get better. All right, here we go with an interesting fish. Oh, it's bottom. Uh, no, it's not bottom. It's, yeah, it's I don't know. It's not bottom. It's coming up, but it's not a fluke either. What the hell is it's that? a big skate. Really? Yeah, I don't mess around. I get the biggest ones. Wow. You can see it's spinning a little bit. It must be a big one. I'd settled for a monkfish. Well, it's strange that I said that because I've never even seen a live monkfish, no less caught one. But this just feels like something different. Get the net, monkfish, monkfish, monkfish. Huge. Whoa, very cool. Very cool. Yes. Whoa, nice one. Monkfish my ass. Look at Holy that. Crap. I've never seen anything like that. I want a picture of this baby. Yeah. That hit. Oh boy, this will make your video. Yep. Very nice. That John. is the catch. Really? Those are one ugly looking fish. Yeah, yeah what a prehistoric looking ugly fish. Um, yeah, it's uh, also called a sea devil. It's got these horns behind the head that are sharp and. Uh, yeah, just a real interesting looking thing. Apparently they're very good eating. Uh, we kept it, haven't eaten it yet. Um, 
but yeah oh in the mouth my goodness the teeth is rows and rows and they are sharp so yep an interesting creature okay if you like this video please hit the like button if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe